is up YouTube this is Alan and I'm back with yet another shopping haul video now this time I'm headed to the fashion week in the capital of Delhi like I was saying yesterday so I had actually ordered for a bunch of stuff from the Supreme uh, SS 2017 collection you would remember me showing off in the video a bunch of stuff that I ordered from Supreme got lost in transit I mean I didn't get lost in transit but so the thing is the friend of a friend of a friend's baggage finally got delivered by the airline but it turns out they swiped the entire package of my supreme merchandise now that must have been some hype beast baggage handler now as a backup plan I ordered for a bunch of stuff from hypebeast uh, hbx.com which is what I'm going to take you guys through and show you what I intend to wear for the fashion week Without much further ado, let's get into it. Before we get into the video though, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber saves one puppy's life. And if you like the video or the merchandise that I'm going to take you through, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Every time you give this video a thumbs up, a kitten is saved. Alright, so the first thing in my collection is from this designer brand called Maharishi. Now Maharishi is a UK based brand and they work with a lot of military surplus and they have this entire anti-war sentiment going on. So what they do is they upcycle a lot of this military stuff and here's this interesting part right, I don't know how far it's true but they say that they wash all of this military surplus uh, outfits in saffron water to cleanse it of its military association. So apparently they bring it down to India and then they uh, apply kind of herbal stuff and all of that and then they cleanse it and uh, yeah and then they make all these outfits I don't know how true that is but that is one fancy approach to uh, fashion so what I got from Maharishi are these white cargo joggers uh, like I said I'm just too lazy to try them on right now but I will have an outfit of the day video for whatever I wear with fashion week hopefully these fit me well so you can see me throwing them on and styling them what I love about them is the construction, it's very anti-fit and then you obviously have angular cargo pockets with your straps that can convert these pants into a backpack. What I'm not too crazy about is that these are extremely transparent and I'm going to be doing a lot of photography which means crouching and all of that. If only I had some nice underwear which is skin colored like they have for women. Or should I wear white underwear? white underwear with white pants or black I don't know I, I'm a little confused if, if you have the answer to that question please drop it in the comments box below alright with that out of the way let's go to the second bottom that I have now now this one's not from hbx.com it's from uh, a few store which is in Dusseldorf so I got the Adidas originals X by O shots uh, you see this X reflective 3M detailing on the back pocket. I love how they're minimal. So now I have the joggers, I have their crop pants, and I decided to complete the collection with the uh, X Bio shorts. I think much to see there. So let's go on to the next t shirt. I'm pretty sure you heard of the hundreds, they are famous for their Adam Bomb logo. So what I picked from them is this basic black and white tee. It's got the bomb right there on the chest and on the back by the collar. Very simple, very basic. I love this brand. I've seen a bunch of their stuff that I really like. Although they're really famous for the Adam Bomb logo, um, I think they have a few good designs too, apart from that. This t-shirt. Now, there's this photographer called KOO or Ku, I don't know how do you call him. Uh, so what he does is he takes this extremely um, risque and erotic kind of images and then he converts them into graphic prints and he transfers them onto t-shirts. His brand is called One Eye Closed, like it says right here. Uh, one being like the winning one, of course. And this is a playoff on the fact that a photographer has to have one eye closed when they're shooting. Or oh, not that one, this one. So it's a playoff on that entire concept of keeping your one eye closed. And look at the back print. I just love it. I mean, everything that I love in one picture. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not decided if I'm going to wear this yet, but I i mean, I'm not going to wear this for the fashion week yet, but I love this t-shirt. He also throws in a free print. I love this t-shirt. 
All right, another one would be a pair of socks that I got from Stan's. Although it's based on the skater Hosoi, uh, what I love about this socks is that it's got this very oriental kind of a look to it. So I was thinking, you know, if I wore my shorts with my uh, Air Jordan 1 breads, I could probably throw these socks on to uh, complete the look. I don't know, I really love these socks. Alternatively, I have another pair of socks that I'm going to show you right now. Now these are from Stan's as well, but these are the Star Wars socks. So on uh, one you have Kylo Ren and on the other foot you have a Stormtrooper. Or oh, is that the lady? I don't know, I haven't really looked at it. Oh, it's a lady, it's a lady who, uh, I don't know man, I, I just didn't see her purpose in the movie so I don't know her name. Yeah, I don't know, I'm undecided between the Star Wars Stan socks and this Hosoi Stan socks. What do you think I should wear with my breads? Let me know in the comments, help me out, help out a brother. And finally, we have, oh shit, I folded them inside out. We have this t-shirt by this brand called Made in Noir. Now Made in Noir is a brand that's based in Seattle and Tokyo. But what I love about this t-shirt is this print right here on the chest. It's a pretty basic uh, white print on the fabric that sells from Japan. It's, it's nice, but what I love about this t-shirt is this print right here. So it's got a couple of ladies, Japanese ladies, walking in kimonos. But the thing is the kimonos are cropped kimonos. So it's only up to their belly button. And then they have their pinky winkies on. It's, it's kind of kinky, you know, I don't know. It's like uh, anime kink. I love this t-shirt print uh, more than anything else, which is why I picked it up. So that's it guys, that's all that I picked up for my fashion week. I mean there was a bunch of other stuff which never turned up and uh, actually I paid Hypebeast a premium shipping fee to send my stuff over in 3-4 to four business days and it's been 2 days over that and they still have not delivered. So I'm not sure if I'll be shopping with them again but then this is what arrived from the stuff that I purchased. What do you make of it? Let me know through the comments below and I will see you soon with my next video and tons of fashion week shots. Hopefully my memory cards hold up really well. Until next time you guys, take it easy and be good.